Hello scholars, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over building a Wright Brothers flyer. Um, so the warm-up is going over um, order of operations. I did post earlier this week um, a few different, a um, couple different ways to do PIMDAS and BODMAS and all that stuff for the order of operations. If you do have any questions when it does bring in the negatives into the order of operations, please let me know and we can work through that during tutoring, okay? All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and start looking at page 227, um, looking at the Wright Brothers worksheet. So it talks about, it says, in the middle of December in 1903, um, the Wright Brothers became the first two people to make a controlled flight in a powered airplane. They made four flights on December 17th, the longest covering only 852 feet and lasting just 59 seconds. 852 feet in 59 seconds. Let's think about that. If we were in like a classroom or a room and there wasn't any furniture on the walls, okay? Let's just pretend. So we're in this room and the room is 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet. So the perimeter, if we're walking the perimeter, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, okay? So if we were to walk that around the room, that would be 40 feet, right? All right, so what if we were to take this distance, 852 feet, what if we were to walk around? How many times would we have to walk around this room? That's 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. How many times would we have to walk around this room to equal 852 feet? Well, if we know that the perimeter is 40 feet, we could do 852 divided by 40, right? Well, just doing simple math. What if we were to do, let's just say not 852, let's just say 800, okay? So 800, 800 divided by 40. Well, if you didn't know what 800 divided by 40 was, what if we cover up this zero to start and we just did 80 divided by 40? Well, we know that's two, right? 40 can go into 80 two times. Well, going by that logic, how many times can 40 go into 800 then? 20, we just add a zero. So 40 can go into 80 two times, 40 can go into 800 20 times. Okay, so if we know that 40 can go into 800, or 800 divided by 40 is 20, then 852 divided by 40. Well, if we were to add another 40 to 800, so 840, let's see, if this was 840, that would be 21, right? That'd be 21. So we know that 852 divided by 40 is a approximately 21. So do you think that you could go around this room 21 times in 59 seconds? That would be super, super fast for real. All right. So knowing that, um, what I want you to do now, let's look at again at page 227. Um, it gives us this table shows us the four flights that the Wright brothers made and it shows us the distance they went and the flight time in seconds so the distance in feet and the flight time in seconds so it's asking us for the to determine the approximate speed of all four flights in miles per hour but there's a problem miles per hour we have feet and seconds. So we're gonna have to do some converting, okay? Um, before we do that though, if you look at this table, okay? If you look at this table, the distances are increasing, but the time to travel them are also increasing. Do you think the speeds are increasing, decreasing, staying the same? What do you think? I would like you to estimate the speed of each flight in feet per second. If you look, the first flight, the distance was 120 feet. And the 
speed was done in 12 seconds. So to determine the feet per seconds, we would do 120 divided by 12. And the rate would be 10 feet per second because 120 divided by 12 is 10. So the feet per second, the rate would be 10 feet per second. Now I want you to think about why are why is it considered a rate? What makes a rate? What is considered a rate? Now after we do our estimations, we can see if they are increasing, decreasing, or staying the same. So that's up to you to do, but that's just to determine um, the estimations. Now the reason why I suggest for you to, um, like on the side, write down like 120 feet divided by 12 seconds is 10 feet per second and find out what the rate is in feet per second, like on the side, we can then see if it is increasing, decreasing, or staying the same. So then when we're actually doing the problem and trying to convert it to miles per hour, if it's not matching up, if it's like, um, if it's like increasing here and it's decreasing here, then maybe we did a math error, okay? So that's just to help you as you move forward um, in the future and in these problems as well, okay? Now, we wanna take our feet per seconds and we wanna transfer them, we wanna convert them into miles per hour. So we're gonna have four different problems. The first problem, we're going to use the distance in feet, which is 120, and the seconds is 12 seconds and we're gonna convert um, feet per second into miles per hour, okay? This next problem would be 175 feet over 13 seconds, so feet per second, and we're gonna convert that to miles per hour, um, and so on with all the, um, all four flights, okay? Um, now, question, how do we know what goes in the numerator and what goes in the denominator? How do we know? Now I'm asking you all of these questions to help you think logically, trying to process what's happening and trying to get an idea of um, what's going on, okay? Now what I do want you to do, or what I want to also point out to you, is that in questions one and two on this worksheet, it tells us that um, for number one, we need to convert feet per second into miles per hour but in the second question, it gives us miles per hour, but it wants us to convert it to feet per second. So it's a little bit different, okay? So I just want you to keep in mind about that, all right? Yesterday I did post a couple um, videos on how to convert from um, feet per second to miles per hour, and I also posted a video on how to convert miles per hour into feet per second. Um, if you have any questions about those two videos or any of the problems, please let me know. Come to tutoring. I'm happy to help you. And then also, if you have any questions from the problems um, about the balsa wood or any of those, please let me know. I'd be happy to help you. All right. Have a great day, guys.